we're going to look at how my client here is moving his pelvis in the sagittal plane. So that means anterior tilts and posterior tilts. So uh, this structure here is his pelvis. Uh, through the middle of it here, think of that as the axis of rotation, like a steering wheel. So if we were to tip the front of his pelvis down that way, tilting the whole pelvis forwards around that axis in the middle, that's an anterior tilt, AT, the pelvis. Also the tailbone going up around that rotational axis, that would also be our anterior tilt. And if we did the reverse around the same rotational axis, if we brought the front of the pelvis up and back, that's what we would call a posterior tilt. And if the back of the pelvis where the tailbone is here went down and tucked under, that's what we will call a posterior tilt of the pelvis. And so all of those motions are good and useful and we need them to walk effectively and get from one foot to the other. Now let's take a look at uh, how my client is doing this. So we can see there's his posterior tilt and doesn't that look very impressive? <laughs> I wish I could posterior tilt that much. Um, and then we'll take a look. Here's his anterior tilt. And what I'd like you to observe here, there's a couple of things about the quality of this motion that we want to look at. Um, and by the way, this client has a bit of lower back pain uh, kind of around there. And can you see why he might have some pain around there? So if we go back... Um, and what we want to observe really is when he's going into, here's the posterior tilt again, this is where he loves to hang out. What you can observe here is, yes, his pelvis is tilting, but he also gets to a point where his whole spine is leaning backwards. Can you see he is pushing his rib cage back? And he's also pushing his knees forward. So yes, it's a big posterior tilt, which a lot of us would be happy to have. But can he do it without thrusting his ribcage back and bending his knees forward? That's what I would like to know. <laughs> and then, interestingly, let's see his anterior tilt. Can you see how right there, right at this moment, he is starting to thrust forwards his ribcage? And there's actually very little motion in the position of his pelvis. He's not actually anterior tilting. He's just leaning his upper body forwards and kind of like right around there you would uh, see he has one big point at which his spine is hinging off of. In upright gait what we'd like to see is when a pelvis does an anterior tilt we would see the spine extend like that so that it's stacked up, head right on top of the feet. Instead, what we're seeing here with my client is instead of an anterior tilt, we have a terrible drawing of a forward leaning body <laughs> where he his head is not on top of his feet, but tilting on this angle forward, which is not a super happy situation. And these are almost tears coming out of his eyes here <laughs> because of his un unhappy anterior tilt. So when he just keeps going with his rib cage, do you see there's a point where he starts to send his butt back like a hip hinge. So he's creasing a bit through the hips there. But at this point here, he stops moving through his hips and his pelvis and he's just leaning forwards with his upper body. So a little bit excessive amount of movement on the posterior tilt and then on the anterior tilt, it's not a super happy situation.